guys, it's Renee. So today I thought I would just review this early matte top coat with you, test it out for a couple of weeks and try it in a bunch of like different nail polish colors. So I bought this at Sally Beauty Supply, this is $7.99 and it comes in a box. I'm pretty sure this has been around for a long time, but it's the first time that I wanted to give it a try because it's affordable, but more than anything because it's cruelty free and that's a huge deal to me. And the package, not gonna lie, called my attention a lot. It's made in the USA, you can read the instructions in the back. This definitely caught my eye because of the teal and purple box. It comes kind of like sealed, like glued. Uh, you can't really open this at stores, so you kind of like have to break the whole box to get the top coat. Which which I think is uh, really nice because it's protected and you won't get an open bottle. So it comes with a plastic like this one, which I think is kind of like wasteful because you're going to be trying this anyways, but I understand why this is here to take care of the bottle itself. But yeah, this is the fanciest package for top coat that I've ever gotten, I think. The whole thing looks a bit more high-end than what it is. I mean, for the price, it really comes in a nice package, which I think is really nice from this brand because it has a lot of like details. So this is what the bottle itself looks like. It's really pretty, it's matte, and it has like this purple cap, which I think is really cute because it makes it stand out. And it has like orally written on top of the cap. But yeah, let's try this out. In this hand, I'm wearing my DIY nude nail polish that I made. The DIY is gonna be in the cards and linked below. This hand though is a bit different, but I wanted to show you and test how this a matte top coat reacts with different colors, different brands different textures, even this acrylic. So with this one, I'm using gold acrylic paint because I wanted to see what happens when you use acrylic paint with this matte top coat. This black is Wet n Wild, and this is the name of it, Black Cream, and I actually love it. This is one of my faves, it's by Kale Polish, it's Coconut Milk. This yellow is by Pure Eyes, Showstopper. As far as for this blue, it's by Sally Hansen, called Blue Me Away. And the battle is pretty old as you can see, it's because I never wear it. I barely ever wear gold, yellow, and blue, but this is all for this review and science, guys. So this is the first time that I opened this, and this is what the brush looks like. It's like a good size, and I like the end of this, like curved, it's not flat. It doesn't smell like anything strong, it smells like top coat, but yeah, I'm just going to try it out. Ooh, the brush is like super lovely. I like it because it reaches out all your nail. It's a nice one. I'm interested in how like long it tastes to dry and how mad it gets. So I'm just gonna give this a few minutes. It's getting there, as you can see, it looks pretty nice. Just wanna know how they look like and if there is anything like like particular when you use it from brands. The formula is really nice, really smooth, feels really easy to apply. But also with this brush, it's really easy to apply because you just need one stroke and you pretty much cover the whole nail. You get the job done faster. I think that brushes play an essential role in like good base coat, top coat, you know, anything that goes on the nails because that's how you apply the product. And if the brush is good, it's going to make the uh, whole experience a lot better. I also applied some like dots, random dots. This is not even nail art, like proper one. But I just want to know if it uh, smudges. No, it doesn't. Wow, looks nice. If you are into nail art, it's good to know. My cuticles are a mess right now, guys, but just let's ignore that. And it is dry. By the time you're done with both hands, the first hand you do is dry. I like it a lot. It doesn't so much, and this is how it looks like in all like different colors. The only thing though is that it does this to acrylic paint has some lines all over it. So it's just something to be aware of if you're working with acrylic paint. So now I'm going to be testing this for a couple of days with this new nail polish and my matte top coat. I'm going to remove all of this because I like to wear my manicures all like one color, personal preference. I just wanted to show you guys and see what uh, all this looked like. So this is what my nails look after two days, guys. And as you can see, it's not matte matte. It's more of a satin finish, which I don't mind. I still like it. I didn't show you my left hand because I did cut myself an X-Acto knife and I burned myself with a hair tool. But anyways, the brush is amazing. The formula goes really smooth. The only two things would be like, it doesn't dry matte. And the price is not that bad, the price, but there are some other like more affordable ones. I'm going to be probably making a battle between these two. But for now, I really hope this was helpful for you and I really hope you like it. If you did, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel for more nail stuff coming up and share this. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. I'll talk to you later and take care. Bye!